Good morning, and welcome to Waken Game. We are back here on the Emerald Isle, and we're playing some Hunger Games today because I wanted a game that I could talk quite easily over about a topic. Because if you guys watched yesterday's episode, which I highly recommend you go and check out, they're kind of like a two-parter today and yesterday. Not really, but kind of. They're related to each other. They're, they're, they're a mini-series. Let's go with that. Uh, they are both to do with YouTube. Yesterday, we spoke about how YouTube has affected my life from the transition from going from doing it as just a hobby and discovering it to turning it into a career. And today, we're going to talk about how you could possibly do that for yourself. Before we do that, though, we're going to wait for this game to start and try and get some good items because I would love to have at least one good Hunger Games match today. I think we can do it. I believe in us. We have a sword and we have two pieces of armor. Okay, I'll go with that. Sure, let's take it. Oh, what the hell? Why are there mushrooms and red wool? That looks really weird. Okay, cool. So, yeah, last time I spoke about the way it affected my life. And I think the reason... I was able to transform it into a career and nearly everyone on YouTube that has been able to transform it into a career is because of a mentality that I believe a lot of successful YouTubers have. And please, by no means take this as me saying, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great and I, I'm big and I'm, I'm better than everyone else and all this. That is not what I'm trying to say at all. What I'm trying to say is... If you are interested in trying to make that your kind of lifestyle, and if you want to just, even if, you know, even if it's not aiming for a career, let's forget the whole career idea for now. That's not even important, and I don't think really relevant in today's waking game. Let's just say that you want to start a channel and have a mild amount of good success with it. If you want that, here are some tips that I have compiled together for you guys. And I'll list off and say how they apply to me and why I think they're important, especially as well. And again, this isn't anything to do with software or, you know, just tricks and tips that are more technical. It's more to do with how you think and how you market your channel as a personality. Just the mentality you need to have. And that's what today's going to be about. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I hope you are having a good morning so far. And I hope you're having a great day, or have a great day. Whatever point you are watching this video in your day, I hope you are about to have, or have had, an amazing day. Anyway, let's get started. So, the first thing is kind of obvious, and you actually hear a lot of YouTubers saying this, because in the end of the day, it's true. There are a couple of items on here that I do genuinely believe... Uh, what? I... Okay, I, um, am I a ghost? Um, it, that felt like I was a ghost because I couldn't do anything and she didn't even acknowledge me. Alright, uh, but you know, there, as I said, there are a couple of items on this that you actually hear quite a lot of YouTubers say. And I'm not just trying to repeat or copy other people's ideas or anything like that. I'm saying these because they are genuinely very, very valid points. As I said, the first one being, it's got to be something you enjoy. If you're doing YouTube to try and purposely make it a career that you just want money from or you want something stable but you're not enjoying what you're doing, you're never going to get there. Your heart needs to be in it. You need to just be enjoying what you're doing. That's the only way you can really sum up this element is if you're not having fun with it, you're not going to get anywhere. And in the end of the day, your heart won't be in your videos, as I said. And when it isn't, your viewer audience, they can kind of tell. You know, you, you can watch a video and you can th see in people's commentaries, even if it's a different style of commentary from something you've seen before. It's very strange. You can just tell, you know, their heart maybe isn't in this to the fullest. And I've watched people who have uploaded videos like that. And you get to watching the video and it's just not enjoyable. So if you're not enjoying it, people plain aren't going to want to stay around your channel. And if they don't do that, you're never really going to grow. So there is the first bit of advice that I would definitely give. And it's not something you can really work on, I would say. It's simply just something, it, it comes down to your personality and you as a person. If you enjoy YouTube, perfect, go for it, have fun with it. If you don't, maybe it's not for you. Even if you want it to be, if you don't enjoy it, there's nothing there. Um, the second one is for those who enjoy it and are actually already working on a channel. And actually, before I, oh my god, sword galore! 
Look at that. And actually, let me fix my armor because I do have some upgrades. Um, but yeah, as well, actually, I was thinking, if you guys have a channel right now, maybe you're working on something, maybe you're already successful, please do comment down below if you have any tips or you have any reactions slash opinions slash, I guess I should just say or, but slash whatever you want to just say about the topics that I'm giving. Please do put all of those in the comment section below. This is something I would really, really love to hear back from you guys on because... This is something you can always have feedback on and keep learning from. Even me, even anyone. Like, uh, PewDiePie, he could learn. Probably not as much as me, but he could learn. <laughs> God damn it, PewDiePie, why are you so big? Anyway, yes, um, you always need to have a goal. That is something that I used a lot when I was first starting my channel and growing. And, you know, that sounds like it's a very, very obvious kind of point. But I don't think people know the way to apply it when they're working on a channel. Because, you know, I hear people of setting themselves goals and you can have a channel just starting off and they've set themselves the goal of a thousand subscribers. And for some channels that may be fine, but for other channels, that might be too big of a goal. You know, different channels with different niches and different styles and genres and just people, that everything grows at different rates. And I think that's very, very obvious on YouTube, you know? Everyone knows that channels grow at different rates. Not everyone is, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Gizzy gained a subscriber, so therefore I gained one. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know where I'm trying to go with that. So try and adapt the goal for your channel. And that's something that I can't really help you with in the end of the day. You have to feel it for yourself and realize what you think is a realistic goal. And the reason I'm saying that, and I'm not trying to discourage you by any means from having higher goals, please don't take it that way either. What I'm trying to say is that you need to have a goal that is achievable, that you feel is far enough out of reach that you want to, that you know, you're going to achieve something big with this and you will be really glad when you achieve it. But it also needs to be in range enough that it feels like you have a chance of doing it. You know, if it's the same idea if you set yourself the challenge of, for me, an unrealistic challenge would be, hey, by the end of 2015, I want 20 million subscribers. It could happen, but is it likely to? Probably not. So I wouldn't pick myself that as a goal. You know, you just need to feel the rate your channel is growing at so far, the rate you want it to grow at, and then probably find somewhere in between that, the number that's in between that you want, but also that is a realistic number, and then base it off that. And I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying to spell it out for you guys so that you have a proper strategy. If you want to apply any of these to your own projects, you can literally just do it kind of step by step. And it is hard, and that's why it kind of sounds like I may be stumbling over words or figuring out things, to, uh, the way to say things, because it's such a complex topic, and you can't just narrow things down in the end of the day. You have it, It's so different for every Every single channel. So I'm trying to gather the most generic kind of applicable goals that I can do. Come here, Roro! Doesn't even know I'm behind him. And uh, and then, you know, you can apply that to yourself. Right, where is he? Where is he? Come on, Roro! Roro! I like your name, but you've got to die. Oh my god, Roro. Oh my god, Roro! Roro! <laughs> what just happened? I shouldn't have tried running. I should not have tried running. I should have just... <sighs> I should have just hit him. Alright, that's fine. Let's go back to the hub and get in another game and I will continue talking on. I still have a few more points to go over, but let's find a good lobby. They're all at zero! Why are they all at zero? Can, does anyone want to play Hunger Games? I want to play Hunger Games. Can we play Hunger Games, please? Those have got one. One, zero. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go in one then. This one's... Yeah, this one's the most populated. Five! I'm recording this a bit later as well. I was kind of late on recording today's Waking Game. It's December the 3rd, I think. Yeah, it's Wednesday. So, and I'm recording this at 1 p. Oh, maybe the Emerald Isle is going offline. Is that happening during Waking Game? We shall see. Actually, I don't think so. I think I just derped. Anyway, yeah, so carrying on. I think I pretty much covered the second topic. So, let's move on to the third. Again, this is a bit more of a common one, but... <sighs> This is going to sound kind of patronizing, I believe, because it sounds so obvious, 
but again, it's kind of a different type of thinking when people think of this. They have one set of thinking. I, I feel like you need to have a kind of other, more stable version. And this idea is, of course, you just need to come up with a different idea. If you can provide something that no one else in your genre is providing, then people are going to come to your channel. If it's entertaining and you are the only one providing that, then they have nowhere else to go for it, so they have to go for you. What I mean by that is a show. Is a kind of show. And it, to be honest, it, it could be anything else from a show. This is another kind of idea that I can't help you with because it is individual to everyone's channels, and you do have to come up with your own idea yourself. Um, one that I enjoy, and one that I have done myself, way back in the day was Hunger Games Challenge, and I still carry that on today. Uh, I'm actually filming one later today for tomorrow for you guys. And that was one of my kind of examples of that method of thinking, is Hunger Games Challenge at the time when I started it up. Challenges weren't massive on YouTube at the time, uh, especially in gaming, and Hunger Games. That was growing at the time as well. You combine those two ideas, and it's just a catchy little show. And I really enjoy filming that, and it's one of my most popular. So that's a complete example where you can see how I've applied that to my channel. And you just have to do that with yours. It is very tricky. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes a lot of work. I, everything at YouTube does. People quite a lot underestimate doing YouTube in general, let alone as a job. It is quite stressful, it's very rewarding, and I, I said all of this, I did cover this last time, and it is very, very hard work, and you have got to have some really innovative kind of ideas to be truly, truly successful at it. So, there's that one. Again, can't really help you with it, but if you need to do something and you want just something to do, try and come up with a show idea. See what floats your boat, see what you can come up with, and figure out how you can make that an enjoyable and catchy viral kind of show. Also, I've got a sword, but can I find someone, please? I haven't attacked anyone aside from Roro, who killed me today in this episode. Come on, I want a bit more action. I mean, we've got the commentary. If we can have the action as well, that would be great. Sure. <laughs> anyway, and uh, this next one also kind of kind of merges with what I just said about the idea, but it applies to a more wider, broader, a broader kind of range, is be different. Just be completely different. And this isn't just to do with shows now, this is to do with everything. The way you carry yourself on YouTube, your commentary, the way you edit your videos, um, the type of videos you do. You know, all of these things, and so many more that I can't think of right now, you need to just sit down and think, how can I be different from this person, you know? It, it isn't a shameful thing, I would say, to look at someone's channels and take a huge amount of inspiration from them and say, I want to do a series like that. I, you know, there are a lot of people out there that will say, oh yeah, you're ripping off. There are a lot of people then that I am a part of that will say, every idea has been done once. It, it really has. The people you are copying off, or people would say you are copying off, have probably got an, at least one element of their idea for that show from someone else. And I am sucking at PvP today. I'm doing awful at this. I was doing great earlier last week. I was going to say this week. I haven't really had any good Hunger Games matches this week. But I was doing great last week. And now... I, oh, God, I don't know. It's fine, let's find another lobby. They're all empty! This is not good for gameplay-wise for Waking Game today. My god. So let's vote for a map. We have seven seconds! Uh, yeah, yeah. Ventrilo! I don't know what that one is. I just know it's a piece of software. Ventrilo! Yes, I love it. So yeah, be different. That is all I can really say on that topic. If you can be different, and if you can provide something that people already enjoy, but put your own twist on it, and as I said, it doesn't have to be with a show, it can be any element of your channel, and technically your life, because your life does affect the way in which you do things on YouTube, then go for it. That is something I would highly recommend, and that will give you the highest possible chance of growing well on the website. So, I think that's actually about all the tips that I wanted to share with you guys today. I was having my hands up in the air, so... 
God damn it. I had my hands up in the air, so I didn't run in for the chests, but I am in a brand new game. So we're not going to finish the episode off here. We're going to play this game, and then we will finish. But I hope you guys found some of those tips interesting, useful, and let me know if you guys apply those to anything you are doing on YouTube currently as well, because that would be really, really cool. And I will, you know, I'd love to check it out actually, and see how you're applying these. If, you, if you're if you willing to do that, I don't know, this is, I'm just putting this out there, I don't know if people want to do this, but if you do, um, I would be more than happy to check those out and maybe even give some pointers, I don't know. I'm saying this now, I'm probably going to get flooded with things now, and it will be a mistake, but hey, I like to help people out, and if I can do that, then... Why not? Also, I'm very wary of being in here because the marshmallow challenge, you remember that Hunger Games challenge? I was in here for that, and that barrier, yeah, that goes up. So I'm not going to spend all the time going for that green one, uh, for that green one, for that chest, because someone could lock me in there, and I'm not about that life right now. I want to kill someone. Just one person. I just want to kill one person in today's video. If I can do that, I'm happy. That is all I need. That will set me for the day. That will give me enough happiness. Let's do this. Can I find a chest at least? I don't think this one goes up either. And wait, is... Oh, wait. Why did I think this was an army base? Well, okay. For some reason, I thought this was an army base. No, it's it's Hollywood Studios. I was going to say, well, there's an entertainment studio and an army base? Sure. All right. I might think about going into the... No. No. I, I can't even finish that sentence. Army is great. I, I could never... I could never go in the army. I'm just not strong enough. I am a weakling. So... Yeah, my life has no meaning. <laughs> Let's get some chests and kill some people. Who's left in here? Wow, quite a lot, actually. Bubblegum Girl 95 name all in white. Look at that. What have we got here? Just some rotten flesh. Great! Oh, also, my cold is starting to finally disappear and make its way. You can probably see I haven't had to sneeze or sniff or anything in this episode. So far, I have a bit of an itchy nose here. But I don't think that's a bit of a cough, or cold even, so, yes, that's gone, thank god. It was making recording videos hell, because in Waking Game, you got the full effect, you know, I kept having to stop and, like, sniff or sneeze, and it just interrupted stuff. Not as much with other videos, you can kind of cut it out, but, yeah, I hate when I have a cold. It, it weirdly affects YouTube quite a lot. Like, if you're at that point where you're not sick enough, where you can't record, and you want to record, but then you get recording and just doing it, is not working out, but you want to keep going and you can't. That sucks. I don't know why I'm talking about that suddenly. That's not a it's not a sudden tip I'm coming up with for YouTube. Don't get sick. <laughs> just, just don't get sick if you want your channel to survive. Everyone that has been successful on YouTube, guys, I don't know if you knew this. No one's ever been sick. It's true. No, it's not true. So feel free to get a cold. Oh, an iron axe. There we go. Do we have anything? Stone. I haven't put on any of my armor either. I'm being a... This is why I'm losing today. I don't know why I'm shocked at myself. This is why I'm losing. Because I'm being an idiot when I'm playing Hunger Games. I'm a dumb player today. I mean, I'll have times when I do that. I don't know why. It's really weird. And I get kind of aware of it as well. I'm like, this is not how I should be playing. Okay. Sure. Let's eat up. Anyway, how many more people are in game? People have got out. Bubblegum Girl 95 is gone. Ah, bubblegum girl. I wanted to take you out. Judging by your name, you were born in my birth year, so... so you know, speaking of birth years, I, it keeps hitting me. And I don't know why this is actually hitting me so hard. I think it's just the way I see it in my life. It's quite a weirdly new, fun transition coming up. But, yeah, I, I'm turning 20 in just over a month. That seems really weird to me. I think I've spoken about this in another video, but you know, we're playing Waking Game and we've got another game to finish, so I might as well talk about a topic that I just thought of. Um, I don't know, I, I, I just find that really weird. I find that completely strange. And exciting! I'm really looking forward to it, and that jump was unexpected, I've never done that before. What's down here? Oh my god, have I ever been- I don't think I've ever been in here before. Stone Sword! There we go. I'm all about that. Actually, they kind of do the same. I kind of want to attack someone with with an iron axe now. It's kind of more fancy if you can do that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You can get in that room anyway. I thought I was being all fancy. I was like, yeah, look at this. No one can get into this room. That's why the stone sword was there. Yeah. And no, that wasn't it. That's evil and harsh and screw you. That's even worse, actually, because once you get down there, it's not like you just burn in lava. You just wait there. That is evil, Choo Choo. Damn. 
Also, if you're wondering who Choo Choo is, he is the owner of this server and a friend of mine. I didn't want you guys just thinking that I'd kind of lost the plot a bit and started making train noises in the middle of my sentence. I think I probably have lost the plot and probably will start making train noises in the middle of my sentence. God damn it! Well, hi, we're back. Sorry, sorry about that. We didn't even leave, but Microsoft decided to minimize... Microsoft? Windows decided to minimize Minecraft for a second while a pop-up came on my screen. So sorry about that! This is what Waking Game is all about. It's raw. You see that happening. You wouldn't see that in like a Pixelmon episode or Hunger Games Challenge or something. Nah. And yeah, I want to find someone. I just want to find someone and kill them. Now, and I haven't seen, I don't think, a single name in this game. And that did rhyme. And no, I'm not going to rap again like I did in yesterday's Ultimate Team. Let me know if you guys saw that. That was interesting. I don't know where that came from. But yeah. Also, speaking actually, while we've got some time while we're finishing this game off and we still have waking game time to, to burn, uh, the video coming today, aside from this episode, uh, I also have some more prison for you guys. That's going to be really cool. And as I said, I'm also filming Hunger Games Challenge today, which should be coming tomorrow as well, which is going to be a great time. I think I already mentioned about this challenge because I didn't end up filming that when I originally planned because some other bits got in the way. But it is that same challenge that I mentioned on... I think Awakening Game maybe three or four episodes ago. And I, I'm not going to say what it is. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. It's going to be quite a big comedy one, I think. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And uh, it is going to be the most mentally painful one I have ever done. And probably will ever do. And that's, that's the reason I'm also not saying what this is. Because I want you guys to wait and see. And I want you to have heard that from me. I want you to see what causes me, personally, the most mental damage. I think you guys will like it. So, that's coming later today. Those are basically my plans for the day, video-wise. If you wanted to know them. So that's what, that's what I'm doing today on Wednesday. What are you guys doing on Wednesday? Tell me in the comments below. Also, where are people? Oh god, can I find more people? I don't think I got this chest. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I might as well take another flint and steel. If I've got two, I can just kind of use that. Why not? We don't have any bread, so screw that. We're not going to take that. We actually have these enchanting bottles. So let me use these real fast and see what we get to. Do we get to one? No, we don't. Well, great. I, you know, t I mean, to be fair, I don't even know when, in, where, when where an enchanting table is on this map. I'm probably going to head back to center thinking about it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to head back to center because I haven't seen a single person and that is where we're most... <gasps> oh, I haven't seen a single person, he says, as he finds someone. Yes, and this guy, we can probably kill him. He hasn't even hit us yet. Oh, dodge and weave. You got wrecked, son. Oh, my God. We just owned him. Okay, sure. That was great. Did he get this chest? Uh, he did not. I will take that arrow. Awesome. Right. Well, at least we've killed someone today. As I said, that's mainly all I wanted. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, okay? I would, I would love to win this episode. Or win this game in this episode. I would love to do that. But if it doesn't happen, I'm not too distraught. We killed someone. That's enough for me. And actually, that was great timing. I was like, huh, where is anyone? Oh, there we go. Anyway, how many more people are left in game? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, excluding me. Okay, we have seven players in. Six that are roaming. Not that I've seen any of them. <laughs> Still have no idea where any of these guys are. This is really weird, actually. I'm going to be honest. I, I know this map quite well. There is one. Okay, I was going to say, how have I not run into more people? Because I have been going to some of the main spots. I feel, right? Oh, he kind of knew. He had a little feeling. He had a little feeling I was there. Do you see that? I didn't make any noise. He just turned around and slam dunked me. But we slam dunked him. And is any of that worth taking? There are some iron boots there, which I'm going to try and power through fast. Because I don't want anyone sneaking up behind me. Come on. Don't do it. I'm keeping things that I think will be useful. I kind of want the carrot. No. Okay. I right. Do we not even have any other iron ingots? I thought we did. That's why I was getting it. Oh, whatever. I'll just get the iron boots. That's fine. We have that. There we go. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, we have two parts iron, two parts chain. I'm actually doing all right right now. We've got a choice of a stone sword if we need one. We don't have an iron sword. But I... Do I have any sticks? I think I had sticks earlier. 
Yeah, I think I did. It doesn't really matter now anyway. I threw the iron ingot away. Screw that. So we have a stone sword. We have an iron axe though as well. And two parts chain, two part iron armor. I'm happy with that. That actually gives us quite a good advantage. Sure. If we can find anybody. Which we can't. Okay, I'm going to go up here and see if I can get like a vantage point view. No one's behind me. No. Oh, there's someone. You see him to the left. I didn't want to turn and look at him because I was like, I will fall off that ladder. But wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Did he say anything in chat? Oh, God, he did. He said, meet me at spawn. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, no, he wants to team. I don't know if I want to team, though. What do I do? Uh, uh, okay, sure. Sure. We'll team. We'll team. I haven't teamed in Hunger Games for a while. Let's team with him. I'm genuinely not going to team. Let's fat. Did he see me jump down? No, he didn't. Hey, hey, bro. I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, God. You can see by his movements that really took him by surprise. He was like, oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God damn it, Lesfan. No, dude, I've, ju I've just been up there. There's, there's no need. <laughs> you are a YouTuber, Omga. Hello, Sekalen. Hope you're watching this video, Sekalen. You're on video. Welcome. There you go. This is a... No, don't... Mo <gasps> um... Have a good morning, guys. I was waking game. Come on!